Good morning, students. We're spending another day for writing workshop, brainstorming ideas for our narrative stories. So today you might want to label your notebook generating ideas too. I'll show you how I set my notebook up in a minute. But what I want to teach you today is that writers generate ideas by making a list of the first or last time they did something. And let me show you what I mean. Right, we're coming up with stories for, sorry, we're coming up with ideas for small moment stories. Okay, so what I did in my notebook, which might be how you want to set it up, is just list, you know, next day, generating ideas too. First time I did something, last time I did something, then I'm going to choose one, same as yesterday, sketch it, and flash draft. So I'm thinking about the very first time I did something. Okay, and remember, this has to be something that I can write a small moment about, so I really should be remembering it well. Okay, don't think of things that you just remember, but you don't actually remember them happening. So I really remember the first time I rode my bike well. Um, it was in my friend's driveway, so that might be a good small moment. I remember the first time I um, got behind the wheel of a car, learned how to drive. Got behind the wheel, or should I say driver's seat. That was scary. <laughs> Um, I also remember the first night I lived in New York City by myself. This is the first night I moved here. I was all alone. It's kind of scary. Oh, I have a good one. The first time I met Miss Cone, because I'd never met her before. I met her in the summer, and I was a little nervous. You know, I don't know who, what is she like? Is she going to be nice? Am I going to like teaching with her? So the first time I met Miss Cone, well, I just say meeting for first time. Um, thank you. Uh, the first time I learned how to ride the subway, I felt really proud because there's little tricks like walking to the front of the, and the back of the platform to get to a certain exit. Learn how to ride the subway for first time. Oh, and I just had a flashback another time. Um, I did something for the first time was when I remember getting in trouble. I was really little, but it was pretty serious. My room was a mess. Got in trouble for the first time. Okay, so those are all the ideas I have for thinking about the first time I did something. Okay, and I remember them all pretty well. I could write a story about it. Now I'm gonna think about the last time I did something. Hmm. Uh, only places I've been going these days have been pretty much the grocery store. So I could say maybe the last time I went to the grocery store. Uh, last time I had allergic reaction, I remember that one pretty well. The last time I was in the school building, it was kind of crazy because there were no students there, but there were teachers and it was all hectic. We were wearing masks. Last time I was in the school building and we were all trying to run out of there and get things that we need to take home. That was pretty memorable. Oh, I remember the last time it snowed because I was upstate. Um, and I also remember the last time I was, uh, was upstate. Okay. Remember, you need to narrow it in on a really small moment. I'm not going to talk about the whole time I was upstate. I could think about a small moment from that time when I was there. Uh, maybe when I arrived and I was so excited to get out of the car and see my parents and seen them for a while but now okay I've listed the first and last time I've done something and now I need to choose one which I want to draft and write about for today so I think the one I'm going to choose is when I got in trouble for the first time so Now I'm gonna sketch it, same thing as yesterday, set up three boxes. My marker's not working so well. Beginning, middle, and end, right? Okay, so the beginning of the story, I was maybe five years old, so I could draw like little me. I was sitting on the floor of my room, which was a mess. I couldn't walk anywhere. Right, and I didn't want to clean. I had all my toys out. My bed's over here, and I had a tiny room, so it was really 
you couldn't see the carpet anywhere. Okay, so it's a mess. All right, and then I remember my mom said, if you don't clean your room, I'm gonna call the police. She tells me to this day that she never said that, but I remember it well. So I'm sitting on the floor in my room. I'll add a little speech bubble. Clean your room or else I'm calling police. Hmm. And then me, I remember I sat there with my arms crossed, being stubborn. After that, I actually remember going into the kitchen and there was a police car in the front of my street in front of my house. So I'm gonna draw what I saw from my kitchen window, which was, I don't know why it was out there. I don't know if she actually called the police, but I saw a police car and then I remember how scared I felt. So I'm gonna actually draw my face too. Cause I was five, cheeks would have turned red, right? I was like, oh my goodness. I really need to clean, all right? And then there's a lot of internal thinking. Maybe I could just add, well, not a speech bubble, but a thought bubble. <sighs> I have to clean. All right, so I thought about the beginning, middle, and end of my story. Now I wanna get ready to flash draft. Okay, remember the small moment. So let's see, <clears throat> I might start with, you couldn't even see my carpet. You couldn't even see my carpet. <clears throat> oh, I remember I was sitting there wearing one of my princess dresses because I like to dress up. So that was part of what was making my room so messy. I dress up clothes all over the floor. So I could say I sat on the floor And my princess dress. My mom, as she walked by, she walked by. I'll add my dialogue. If you do not clean your room, I will call the police. I remember I sat there, I didn't clean. <clears throat> I kept playing. Then I think I got thirsty, so I went to the kitchen. I got thirsty, went to get a drink. In the kitchen. There was a cop car. Out front. I went back and cleaned my room. <clears throat> so now I've done with my flash draft for today. Right, It was a really small moment in time. Okay, Tomorrow we're going to spend one more day generating ideas by doing something else. Remember, you can include speech bubbles in your sketches. Good writers of narrative stories include dialogue, descriptive action. But remember, most importantly, when you're coming up with ideas or generating ideas for your writing, they should be really specific small moments that you remember well. It should also be an event that takes place maybe over 20 minutes to an hour. It shouldn't be something that's a whole day long. It shouldn't be something that takes place over a couple of days, right? A small moment is a really tiny event in time.